Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture and if you don't know what's the cutoff, what's the latest pattern, what's the questions they're asking in these days. So let me share all of these questions answer in this video. And just before that guys, please make sure that you are subscribing this channel to get the latest update, latest content for Accenture. Okay, now let me share the questions answer that is what's the pattern I hope you were already aware of that that is at first there will be total 50 behavioral questions where you will be asked uh, questions like are you a team player if you are agree then click on agree if you are disagree then click on disagree if you are neutral then click on neutral okay so this type of questions uh, like you have to answer okay but be wise while selecting the answers because this this is also an elimination round so if you are clicking disagree then probably you will get a uh, negative marks and probably it will harm to go to the next round okay so please be wise now the next round is i mean the next sections will be cognitive sections in cognitive sections there will be gamified round gamified round means total three rounds are there one is called rat maze game and second game is called uh, abacus round abacus round means there will be some bubbles in you in you have to select in increasing order okay and there will be three uh like third game that is called key and lock okay so these three game rounds you have to go through now the next sections you have to pass that is the technical assessment in technical assessment there will be mcq questions in mcqs there will be pseudocode there will be cloud and networking mcqs then ms office mcqs and cyber security or cloud and networking security mcqs okay now uh, the next very important sections is called back end front end and uh, dbms i mean sql okay database back end front end and database so these three very important for you so please give importance to all of these sections all of these questions now let me share how much you have to achieve what's the cutoff for each section okay so uh, let me share one example through our actual uh, candidates feedback so you can see this candidate srija has already cleared the round so now why and how he how she cleared the round how much she performed let me just tell that so she performed well in gamified sections okay and she performed well in behavioral as well technical as well okay technical mcqs now the next thing is back end she only could solve only four out of ten test cases okay and for the front end she covered only four uh, three out of four objectives okay and for the database i mean sql she solved all the questions okay so uh, like solving only this much of questions she could clear the coding round she is waiting for the communication assessment and the interview materials and interview questions okay now the question is how to prepare and where to prepare the answer is guys please go through the playlist of accenture at techno ef youtube channel and additionally please go through the materials available at topmate.as.techno.uf here we have already included the latest questions with answers like you can see already gamified rounds where you can play the game in real time okay and also technical questions like web based html css javascript front end questions sql questions and back end questions all are updated okay so now please go through that pseudo code cloud and networking ms office all the questions previous year questions more than thousands mcq questions are updated there so uh, please go through that communication assessment uh, uh, live available there and mock test interview experience all the things you need to prepare available there okay so these are the feedback of students provided below so the link will be provided in the description box and in the comment section please go through that it will be very much helpful for your upcoming drives now let me share the question which uh, accenture really asked on 2025 on october okay now the question is you can see this is the actual questions i'm not showing the logo of accenture and Marson metal because of copyright issue let me just you can see front-end technology okay here so this is the sample uh input output this text can be shown or hidden when the button is clicked so here is the button you have to click whenever you will click 
the text will be shown and whenever you will click on height it will be hidden okay now you can see you have to write html css and javascript what are the tasks what are the objectives total four objectives or three objectives will be there what are the objectives let me just tell that so this is the sample input output let's say this is the text and this is the button okay if you are click on hide then it will be hidden if you click on so it will be shown okay now the html task total four tasks will be there three to four tasks will be there now the html task is if you uh, there will be one uh, button right this is the button now you have to add one id i'm showing what id you have to include i hope you know right this is the tag we write the tag in between this uh, the, uh, in uh, greater than less than sign in between that right and in between that we also write some attributes that is called id class etc so we have to add one id attribute or class attribute this is the task of html okay and what is the task of css that is you have to add a background color to the uh, button okay i am showing what color you have to add they will give you the color as well color id so i'll just show after few seconds just wait and what is the css task that is you have to write a function whenever you have to you have to add one event listener okay whenever user click on it the text will be uh, hidden and whenever user will uh, click on show the text will be shown nothing else so let me just show how much code you have to write now you can see the task actually for html is the button this id you have to include all the code will be already pre-written for you you don't have to write all the code line by line okay and uh, you can see only the button id you have to include this is the task you have to just achieve okay and there will be total three separate uh, file index.html style.css and script.js you have to include the script.js script and style.css into your html page this is just you have to remember and that style.css task is you have to add one background color to the button so this is the button uh, button and we are referring to that background color has code for c a f f uh, 50 okay so this just already these are written already these are written just you have to include these line background color uh this uh has for c a f 50 nothing else so you got 50 all, uh, almost 40 percent of the total marks of html such as javascript okay now let me share the logic for script.js whenever user will click on the button that means you have to add event listener click okay at first get the access of the button okay access of the button that is constant toggle button document dot get element by id toggle button this is the id we have already written here you can see toggle button okay button we are getting the access of this button okay and constant toggle text document dot get element by id we are just going to toggle the text okay so we just got access of button and the text now toggle button we are manipulating this button toggle button dot add event listener whenever user will click on the button uh, we are now checking if the toggle text dot style dot display triple equal to none guys what's the difference between double equal and triple equal in javascript this is also very important questions in your interview that is this triple equal will check the type of this value and the type of this value and the value itself both can be uh, checked in double equal right so if this is equal to none none then toggle text dot style dot display is equal to block toggle button dot text content is equal to hide so we are just let's say this button is now so this text already have been changed right whenever we are clicking the the text is also toggling and when we have to hide this the text is also clean right none so that's why you have to know whenever the toggle text dot style dot display is equal to equal to equal to none okay that means there is nothing 
then the toggle text should be block and toggle button text content should be hide okay that means this is already in so mode okay now else toggle text dot style dot display is equal to none and toggle button text content is equal to show okay nothing is showing now nothing is being shown right now and here toggle bu toggle button dot text content so that means uh, it is in hide mode okay so i hope you understood let me just show once uh let me just inspect the code um you can see here um, okay so the text can be shown or hidden when the button is clicked if i click on hide the hide text will also be toggled you can see here hide is written whenever user will click on it then this text will also be none okay as of now display is equal to block but when we click on it what happens the display is none okay that means this text has been hidden okay this text has been hidden and display is none and this toggle button this button text uh, also changed to so okay i hope you understood so guys this much of discussion is enough for today's session i think let me just discuss one important thing what type of html questions you can face in your upcoming drives guys just before that i want you to know, know that we have already included the sql questions also so please go through these it, it will be very much helpful for your upcoming drive because already thousands of candidates are cracking accenture exam only by following these materials so why you are left so please go through that and grab the opportunity okay now the questions the guys are facing uh let me just show that at first you are given schemas okay you are given schemas then mainly the questions are coming from sql join aggregate functions subquery and i think these are all okay so and for from regex okay you can get most of the questions from these topics let's say these are the two uh, uh tables are provided okay you have to print let's say join these both and you have to print some uh city city name where the city name starting with l okay starting with l nothing else so these type of questions you can face in the sql questions so to get all the real questions guys please follow the playlist of accenture also additionally uh follow the materials okay now i hope you understood what type of questions you want to face so if you want to know about more sql questions technical mcqs interview questions common questions then please comment down want more okay want more i'll make more content okay so thank you for